What's up guys? Welcome back to another classic car walk around here at Coyote Classics. And today we have a very special one to show you. Uh, this is a 1953 Ford uh, Sunliner convertible. Uh, this car is believed to be 28,000 uh, actual miles and I'm very, very confident that it is. Uh, so a little bit of history on this car. It was originally kept in a Ford showroom in Virginia. Uh, then it was sold from that showroom in 1985. Um, and then that owner sold it to the previous owner in 2007. So um, the way I understand this car was kept at the, the showroom and never sold until 1985. That's all we can go by guys. That's what the previous owner states. And uh, when we get to the interior, we'll let you guys be the judge of it. So um, anyway, really cool car. I'm gonna step in and talk about it just a little bit. Just a gorgeous car from bumper to bumper. Um, it's been repainted once with the original paint still on the firewall, trunk floor, all that kind of stuff. So, and as we go, the original paint color was a little more of a bluish green, Dalton. Um, this is just a little glacier bit different blue. color than the original. Yep. So, factory colored uh, glacier blue. Yep. And that's what it's repainted back to. Um, just a neat car. That's a really cool car. All right, as we go here to the front end of this car, we'll do that before we do the hood. Um, the front bumper, grill, everything on the front end of this thing is absolutely stunning. We do have, there is a few little scratches right here, guys. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, just a couple little scratches right along there. But as far as our hood gap goes, we have a really nice even hood gap. Um, the original chrome is this is still the original chrome guys as far as i can tell um here on the uh the airplane thing up here and it is super clean except for we do have a few little um micro scratches in that so this has got a double latch system doll yeah so, so then you one just, right here on the yep, right and then push this one all the way in here yep every one of these hoods are so different it's fine, you just gotta push that in harder. There you go. There it is. Not old enough. <laughs> as far as the uh, underneath the hood, that is all the original paint under there and the body and the bodywork and the paint and stuff on here is still excellent. So this is a 239 cubic inch flathead V8 engine. Um, if I remember right, in 1954, this is the last year of the flathead, 1954, they went in, went in and did the uh, overhead valve. And the flatheads had the dual water pumps. Um, this engine runs about as good as you're gonna get one. It just sounds beautiful. There's that original paint, guys, on the firewall. So the bottom of the hood and the original paint on the firewall you can tell the color difference. They went ahead and uh, did a little lighter color on the uh, on the repaint on it. Well, and that comes with age as well, too. You're going to get that little bit of uh, discoloration. Yeah. Yep. That's a, that's a neat car. Um, this thing runs so freaking nice. The oil bath, everything's just so damn clean on it. I mean, we love our muscle cars here at Coyote Classics, but we have the utmost respect for these these 50s and early 60s classic. And I mean, I've, my appreciation for them has grown so much having this car, and we also have a 50 Ford convertible, another beautiful car. Uh, my appreciation for these old 50s stuff has really uh, went through the roof after driving them. Yeah. This, go to our website, guys, coyoteclassics.com. Check out the frame, floors, everything on the trunk floor, everything on this uh, 53 Ford convertible is rock solid underneath. As we look across the top of the hood, the paint is excellent on the hood. Um, even here on the top, they repainted this when they did it, the chrome, all that is in excellent shape as well. Um, windshield's in great shape, all the chrome around the windshield. The Sunliner chrome is in excellent shape. Given the door handles, original door handles, they still have a great chrome finish, but if you look deep into inside there, you can see that it's got those little micro scratches in it. As we go to the very, very bottom of the car, guys, even though you look at our website uh, and check out the undercarriage and it's all rust-free and awesome, um, we've got a little paint imperfection right down here, just a little rust bubble right there. 
But as we go underneath, again, coyoteclassics.com, check it all out. Super, super solid under there. Rocker panel, solid, door is perfect. Um, we do have a couple little more small little bubbles right here. And we don't know when this paint was done, guys. This paint could have been done after 85, it could have been done after 07. Um, we don't have the uh, history on when the paint job was done. Door gap is perfect on it. This interior is really cool. I mean, just a, a neat color, uh, color scheme. The black, red, and silver on a glacier blue car. I bet there wasn't too many with, with no, that color. No, exactly. Concept. Here's our uh, corner of the doors, bottom of the doors all look really good and solid. And that door panel, you can just tell in the armrests and stuff, you can see just a little bit of a just a little bit of wear. I mean, there's no rips or tears or nothing, but the, the whole interior is, to me, is 100% original as far as I can tell. Um, as we get back here again, look, you can just see the light stitches, how the li little stitches are starting to come just a little bit loose right back in here. Kind of see just a little wear there. You still got your ocean right here. handles. Yeah, you got those. Look at the little wear here, guys. So, I mean, this thing hasn't been redone. This is the original interior to my knowledge. A back door panel is fantastic. And you're right, Dalton, that color combination is great on this car. It's really cool. The top's in great shape as well, guys. I'm going to unsnap just a couple of those so we can kind of go put them back. The top's been redone, guys. It's got a nice black canvas top with just a little bit of red to match the interior, that maroon stitching, which looks really good as well. Um, all our bows and everything are in great shape. And this is a power top, so. Uh, back door panel on the driver's side is great. The rubber mat is in excellent condition. It is the original style mat. It's got the Ford logo on there as well. And as we come up in here and check out the dash, um, the original radio is still clean. We got a little bit of a little bit of paint chipping on that silver, but that's to be expected. Um, temperature gauge. We have an aftermarket temperature gauge here. We open up in here. Look at the original paint and the tire pressure gauge and or, uh, sticker and stuff in here. It's perfect. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Yeah. Original owner's manual. Oh. The horn works. Gas gauge works, guys. Um, temperature gauge is not working. Amp gauge works and oil pressure gauge works. Um, wipers are vacuumed, they're not working as well. Oh, yep, there yeah, they are. All right, they're vacuumed, That's so vacuum they're a little slower. But they seem to work pretty well once they get fired up and they park correctly, so I'll take that back. Um, original radio does not work. Again, we got the aftermarket temp gauge, so the one on the dash is not hooked up. This will just give us a lot better reading, especially with those uh, with that flathead uh, with those dual water pumps. We want to make sure that stays nice and cool. So dual exhaust sounds great, guys. And this thing, like I said before, has an awesome idle. And look at, I know we have those little imperfections that I pointed out on this passenger side, but look how nice the paint body is on this car. I mean, this is definitely a show quality car, no matter where you take it to. It's super straight. The chrome is in great shape. Um, the little side chrome right here, you can see just a couple tiny little dings in it. There's a little ding right here and right here as well. As we go back here to the trunk lid area, um, trunk lid gaps are nice. The paint across the back of the uh, trunk lid and uh, top of the quarters is all in great shape as well. Um, Continental kit looks great. We got the original uh, license plate holder and stuff here, license plate light, back bumper is excellent. Same thing with the tail light lenses tail light lenses and the chrome around them are still in great shape. The seals are good. The seal's good around the uh, Continental kit. A few little paint chips on the uh, um, back part here of the Continental kit. Back part of the quarter is excellent. It's got the fender skirts over the wheel well is great. Rocker panel on the driver's side. It's got the same spot, guys, right there. Same bubble on each side, so if a guy wants to, a guy can get that repaired. 
little rock chip right here. Another scratch right here, guys. There's two of them. One here and one tiny one right there. Our gap is really good, top to bottom. We do have some little paint chips down here. So after kind of going around the car, if I had a guess, I would say this thing was painted shortly after in the late 80s, maybe, early yeah. 90s. Yeah. Um, and just, it's only got 28,000 miles, is that what yeah. it was? 28,000 miles. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just an awesome driving car. So, and we'll see if it drives like a 28,000 mile car when we take a first spin here in a minute. I really haven't. Have you drove this one yet, D? I have not. I have a little bit. On bottom corner of the door is great. So, um, we'll talk about here the uh, armrest driver side is war, passenger side one is excellent. Um, we do have some yellowing right here around the, uh, on that chrome. Again, just a little bit of wear on this original black paint on the top where you put your arm. Same thing here on the cord, some wear there. Here's your factory codes. Steering column paint, dash paint, all that is in excellent shape. So um, as we talk here, you can see original, again, original seat. Um, where this just comes out here on this edge, you can just see that that's lifted up just a little bit down in here. Right here as well, a little wear right there. It's just a little tiny little, not cut all the way through, but a little seam split. And then same thing, the stitching's coming a little loose there. So um, you can tell um, it is the original seat. Something kind of cool with this one too. Um, it's got front and rear speakers and it's got that little switch right here that you can switch from front and rear or both speakers. It's kind of a neat yeah, option. That yeah, is. I mean, there wasn't many options to have back in the day. And this is, I mean, watch works really good. That's what I was saying. I mean, the car's like. It'd be a great one to learn how to drive a manual on, just because it's so damn easy. You don't have to hardly put any gas when you take off. Let's take it through town, shall we? Um, the speedometer works. It's got 28,873 miles, guys. I bet you've walked more miles than that in your life. Probably. <laughs> Very possible. <laughs> I was thinking about it a little bit. Yeah, that's damn near possible, man. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to make sure, guys, the odometer worked. So we just went from nine tenths to zero tenths. So the uh, the odometer does work. It's always a good thing to check on these cars. Yeah, true. Especially, Especially when you say it's twenty eight thousand miles. <laughs> yeah, good point. This exhaust too. I like the exhaust on this because the car don't sound like a fifties car. You know what I mean? It just it's got a good like cackle to it. It does. It's not overboard, you know, but. The other thing is, I think it picks up speed really well. This flathead runs excellent. Not only idles well, but picks up good speed. Shifts smooth, first, second, third. Goes perfectly straight down the road. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. And we're doing about 55. Uh, probably shouldn't be. Yeah, I got <laughs> but carried away. It drives nice. Um, temperature gauge running about 150. So that's nice. Oil pressure gauge is working, as I mentioned. The gas gauge is working. Amp gauge is working. It's showing we're charging. Everything's working on it, guys, except for this uh, clock and the radio. The radio. Very neat car. Um, Let's check our brakes out a second, not to interrupt you, bud. Here's our brakes. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, very nice. We'll go down Main Street, but um, I mean, it's just a car that you can look for a long, long and hard, and, and not find another one like it. Um, these boys think about her. It's got a the young generation like it. Young generation like this one. I mean, it's just a neat car, a neat story. Um, and something that runs and drives excellent as well. Hey guys, we're on the highway now. Now we're gonna take this uh, beauty out on the highway and see how she handles 60 mile an hour. The speedometer works so smooth too. A little windy today. Well, hell, you got it at 60 mile an hour on the back row. It'll, it'll do just fine. <laughs> yeah, it really just cruised along nice. We got bias ply tires on this thing, but 65 mile an hour, guys, go straight down the road. But let's say we have to stop in a hurry. Are we going to panic? Absolutely not. 
It oh, has wow. absolutely no pull one way or another. That was impressive. We get to the corner, look at the island. And he doesn't it does like it. running. No, you can't even hear the dance thing, dude. Seriously. Okay, you better start it up again. <laughs> so right. <laughs> All right, so it, it's a great car, guys. If you're looking for a 1950 to 53 convertible Ford, this is one of the nicer ones around if you're looking for an awesome driver, guys. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.